Showtime. We are here with the one and only Showtime, Curtis Stevens. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. that take us take us through that whole fight. I mean, that was it was just edge of your seat type stuff yeah. the whole night. Um, came into this fight and it from the outside it looked like you were overlooking this guy. You were talking about other fights, that kind of stuff. Never bodes well usually. Yeah. But uh, here we are, and it was a dramatic, dramatic come from behind victory. I, I think you were probably down on most yeah, of the yeah, scorecards. I, so. I believe I was down. Um, instead of me going in there, just letting my hands go, I'm not going to say I was overthinking, but I believe I was looking for the knockout too much. I knew he was coming wide. I let him smother me on the rope, and I just didn't let my hands go the way I was supposed to. I was looking for the knockout a little bit too much because I knew he was coming wide with the shots. I was looking for off the block, but I, I, didn't, I didn't put it together too well. He looked very active in there. Obviously, a lot of the fighting was done along the ropes where he had you on the ropes. Yeah. But it didn't look like a lot of his shots were bothering you from, the, from a power point. Would you agree yeah. with that? Um, no, he, he, was, he, he was smothering me. He, he, was, he, he was chopping me with the right hand when, when I was holding his, when I was, uh, holding his left. But uh, the, I, I, just, I just played the wrong fight tonight. It wasn't, it wasn't, it, I didn't fight my fight. I, let, I fooled his fight. I let him smother me, and I just was looking for the knockout too long. And I got the job done. I hurt my, I hurt my knuckle like in the uh, fourth round, taking nothing away from him. He did what he had to do, but I wasn't on my game plan tonight. You know, I turned to the guy to the left of me uh, on press row, and I said to him, uh, you know, this type of fight where the legend grows, you know. And um, I think from a perspective of a guy looking on that might be taking you on next might say, well, he sees flaws or he sees openings, but at the same time, you got the job done. Um, talk about you know, it's just that the legend growing with as far as your power goes, man. Um, you know, my power, was, uh, my power was devastating. You know, whether it was the first, second, third, fourth, the last round, I took him out. Even though I didn't, I didn't take him out presently, I got the knockout. Take us through that final, that final segment there. Uh, I think it was a, a left that, that's the, yeah, the left hook that started it all, yeah. Um, my, my uncle told me to stop backing up. I, I, don't, I, I, just was, I was just submitting. My uncle don't like when I submit. I, I, don't, I don't understand why I was doing it. Maybe because I was just looking for the knockout so much. I'm like, all right, it's going to come, it's going to come. But I looked at the corner, I was like, step forward, step forward. I'm like, all right, so as I started stepping forward, pushing him back, I believe he threw the right hand. I think he threw the right hand. I missed the hook. I came with the right hand. Then I came with the hook, and the hook caught him. So when I, you know, when, once I get your, I finish him. I got him hurt, I believe, the third round. I didn't finish him. I was, I was a little wild with it. For some reason, I was a little wild. But like I said, I got the job done. That's all, that's all I care about. Was your corner telling you in those late rounds, especially the last one, that you were down enough where you were going to lose the fight yeah, if, you yeah, didn't, if you didn't come up with a knockout? They were telling me I was down. Curtis stepped forward, stepped forward, stopped backing up. I'm like, okay, okay. I was saying okay, but I was doing some other type of shit in the ring tonight. I don't know why, but my mind just was, ah, he gonna, I'm going to catch him, I'm going to catch him. But going, going back to the draw board, I'm going to make the corrections. You talked about the knuckle a little bit. It doesn't look like you were cut really in any kind of shape or form. Do you, you've been on sort of a storm pace and you want to continue on a, a, a fast pace this year. Will this slow you down at all? Or are you think, thinking that this might be the prelude now to that big fight you're looking for? Um, I'm going to get back to the gym. Well, I'm going to go to Dr. Monday to make sure my knuckle's okay. But I'm just going to get back to the drum board and just uh, and go, I'm gonna go look at the fight when I get home tomorrow, make my corrections and see what I did wrong. I'm going to get back to the gym Monday and I'm just going to turn it up. But I know people looking at it like, oh, I, I give myself a, a D tonight. You know, I, I wasn't no A, B. I give myself a D. To me, I look very, I, I didn't see the fight yet, but for me being in there, I look bad. I ain't do what I was supposed to do. Even though I got the knockout in the last round, it, it wasn't impressive to me. So I give myself a D. But I'm going to go back to the draw board and make my corrections and come back strong as ever. From the vantage point where you saw the knockdown, the man in front of you. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't a popular stoppage with the crowd here, yeah. and I think a lot of the people at home are also saying the same thing. Yeah. But what you saw, did you see a guy who, who was gone? Um, he was hurt, you know. The, the ref should have let me just uh, probably kill him, you know, because he was hurt, you know. The, the ref won't do his job at the end of the day, you know. I believe right before the last round, he walked to my corner. So I believe I had him hurt in, the, in that round. You know, my uncle, like, you look, my uncle said, look at him, he hurt. He walked to that damn corner. So I'm like, all right, so... When I, when I started the last round and I was backing up with my uncle, like, my uncle said, back him up, back him up. That's when I started stepping forward. I started pushing him with my shoulder, and the knockout came. And he didn't seem to be throwing back in that, in that sequence either, yeah. and that's, that's usually the kiss of death. Yeah, um, like some people may say it was a, a, a bullshit stoppage, but at the end of the day, you're, you're not in there. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if he, he, may, he may not like the stoppage, but like I said, somebody got a problem with it, they should have just uh, let him die in there tonight or let him he just take his ass cold out. 
on to the next. Now, uh, you know, you've been talking about wanting to get that, get back on HBO, get that HBO date, and uh, line up with some of these champions or uh, you know these top ten guys. Yeah. Uh, is that the hope for the next fight? Yes, ho hope for the next fight. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get back in there, make my corrections. Um, hopefully, it's in the contract, so I'll get back on HBO. But I'm gonna make my corrections, so I'll come back strong as ever. A lot of people were vocal about that opening bout last week and how that could have been you and then damn, yeah. and, and it wasn't. And, and even if we had this fight, yeah. what an entertaining bout it would have been. Yeah, you know, I'm always entertaining. Whether I make it look hard, whether I make it look easy. I got my job done. I got the knockout. Whether it was first round, last round, the knockout came, and I'm just glad I got the win. Thank you very much for a few minutes of your time, Kurtz. We do appreciate it, and uh, best of luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you.